Welcome everyone. Hopefully you can see everything okay. I'm just going to get on my screen here. All right. We're going to do a couple of different things tonight. Um, let me just share this. JJ, stop. Okay, make sure you say hello when you come in. My dog thinks somebody's here. There is nobody here. Just me and him. So I'm going to use two transfers tonight. Um, let me see if I can put my iPad up here so that I can see comments. All right. So we're doing um, two transfers tonight. The first one is home. And I already have this out, so I'm going to be using this word. And then the other one I'm using is the suddenly you became my everything. So I'm not going to use this, but I am going to use this beautiful flower. And we're doing it on our um, Aiden gallery board. So this is porcelain on steel, and it's a magnetic board. It's a beautiful, beautiful board. So I just sprayed some water, and I'm going to use my paste scraper, one of our new tools that I absolutely love, and I don't know how I've lived um, without this thing. It's amazing go through a lot less of the board erasers and fewer paper towels too. So you just scrape it all into a little pile and I grab paper towel and just like that it is clean. Now you might notice that there is a little bit of ghosting here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a bit of water and then I'm going to use my board eraser. And that just gets rid of the ghosting that's on there. And now it's just like a brand new board. Grab this paper towel again. I want to make sure that the board is dry when I put the transfer down. So how has everybody's Monday been? Pretty good? All right, so when you come in, um, make sure you say hello. If you're watching this on replay, uh, comment Hashtag replay. I would love to give you a shout out. Okay, so now I need to fuzz my transfer. I'm going to do the flower first, and then we're going to put the home on top. So let's just fuzz this. And we're going to put it on here. Now the colors that I've decided to use are uh, Raspberry Sorbet and Peacock for my flowers. And then we're going to use uh, Parakeet for the leaves. And then the home is going to be done in white. So that is what we're doing. I'm going to give this a mix. I'm 
All right. I'm going to give this one a mix. I want to make sure I get all my colors mixed before I start. And I'll probably do the chalk and peel method where I'll do part of it, peel it back, and then put the transfer back down. Because if I try and do it all in different colors, um, it could dry in the silk screen. And then when I pull the transfer back, it's just going to be stuck in the silk screen area. And I really don't want that to happen. Okay. So we have those two. And then we need green. The white I don't really need to mix right now. Because that's going on after. Okay. So let's start with... I'm going to grab some smaller squeegees. Um, we will do this bud at the top, and this is going to be in raspberry sorbet. I love that we can take two transfers and put them together and really make it your own. I love that about Chalk Couture. So we have, I guess, three and a bit days left till the end of the month. Um, Club Couture, a new transfer comes out next month. Um, and you have until the end of this month if you want to get in on the vintage typewriter. So you have until the 30th. Now Club Couture is a monthly subscription where you get an eight and a half by 11 transfer and three coordinating chalk paste with it. So it's like getting a new project every month. It's pretty awesome. And you can change up your home decor just like that. I'm going to wipe the excess and now I'm going to peel. Where'd the lid go for that? Here. We are going to peel this back. All right, I'll give it a dry. That raspberry is such a bright, bright color. I love it. Okay, I'm just, I used the cool setting on my blow dryer. Because you don't want to get heat on the transfer. And now I'm going to use Peacock. And try not to get it into the green area that I just chalked. Okay. I kind of want to do a little bit of ombre on these big roses. So maybe I'll put a little bit of white in the center. A little bit wet for now. Let's get some white. And it doesn't take very much at all. Okay, now I can't put this back into the container because it's got blue on it. So I just put a little tiny bit of water on my finger. And I'm just going to go like that. And dry chalk off my finger. And now we're going to pull this back. 
And look at that. It just changes the whole look of the flower. Gives it so much depth. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the same transfer that I did on a couple pairs of jeans. And it turned out so good. I love this one. Let's put this back down. And I'm just going to press down in this area. Now there's some air bubbles over here, but that's okay. It's not near the silk screen area. So we are good there. Put the green. Hey, Pam. Yeah, I love this. Love being able to blend colors. Now I want to make sure I don't get the buds because the buds I'm doing a different color. So we'll just go up to the edge there. And raspberry sorbet. And then this part is almost done. We just have to dry it and then we can do the, the next layer. Let's lift that off. So pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. Hey, Trina. Hi, Carrie. Didn't see you guys come in. So this is from Suddenly You Became My Everything, the flower part. And then we're going to do home. I'm just going to put the lids back on my chalk paste. I have been busy all day today, and of course I didn't bring them back down with me. I took them upstairs to take pictures. I made some greeting cards. That was fun. I'm actually hooked on it. Now I want to do them and make more and more and more. But it's perfect because then I can send them out for different occasions or whatever. Keeps me busy. That is always a good thing. Okay, so now the only one that we're going to have out is the white. And we're going to dry this. I want to make sure that this is really, really, really dry. I can't even stress that enough. It has to be super dry. Yeah, isn't this pretty, Carrie? I love this. I think this is going to be one that I need to put upstairs in my living room for a while. I want to make sure that the board cools down a bit. Hey, Carol. Hi, Nikki. Welcome. Okay, so I've got my home transfer. And I'm going to fuzz this. And fuzzing, if this is the first time you're watching, fuzzing actually puts lint on the back of the transfer. You want that little bit of lint on there so it doesn't really stick to your surface. The only time that I would not fuzz a transfer is if I was doing it on fabric. Hey Betty, welcome. 
Did you get your package today? Okay, now we are gonna do home. I'm, I'm not sure how this is gonna look, so just bear with me. In my mind, it looks really, really good, but we shall see. Hey, the worst thing that could happen is I have to wash it off and start over again. That is the beauty of this. It's not permanent. If I change my mind, I can start over. I think it's gonna look good though. Just my personal opinion. Okay, here goes. Oh yeah. I love it. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad. I'm glad he was able to deliver it. I think this turned out fabulous. And it will be going in my living room. Because teal is just my color. I absolutely love teal. I love everything about teal. Now that I'm looking at this, I wonder if I should... Oh, it would look really good on a pillow for the couch. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Love it. This, I'm thinking... Hmm. It is a little bit bright. I wonder if I should have done it in Storm. I wonder. It's still wet. I wonder if I could do another layer. I think maybe I will. Let me grab just grabbing the storm. I think no, that's not storm. Have storm. So let's just put this aside for a second. I'm going to clean this. Get this cleaned. And then dry it off. And then we can place it right down on top. Uh, because we can see through the soak screen we'll know if we're getting it in the right area, which is awesome. Get all that white off. And now, to dry this really fast, let's clean that off first. Um, I'm going to put it on the inside, on the microfiber side. That will dry the transfer without um, making it really sticky. Oh, that's too funny, Betty. That's funny. Yeah, you left the house at 3 this morning, I think. Okay, so this is dry. Get the 
board back up here. And you see how we can line it up right to where it was? Perfect. We'll give this a mix. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> give this a mix. <coughs> oh, that came out of nowhere. Okay, I just added a little bit of distilled water to my chalk paste. You want it to be a nice creamy yogurt consistency. That's perfect. Okay. Now I want to do this fairly quickly because when you get chalk paste wet, you're reactivating it. And we don't want to take too long to do this. So we'll use a small squeegee right across. Get that excess off. I got some on the board. Just making a mess. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. It's not not so in your face. What do you guys think? Was that a good choice or no, I think it was. Okay, we're going to blow dry this. So that is how you mix up two different transfers to create um, a beautiful one of a kind piece. I think it turned out great. All right, that's it, except for the cleanup now. I love the the depth in the flower. I definitely, I think I should do it on a pillow. I think that'd be very pretty. Maybe even just one of those little tiny, um, well, I don't even remember what they're called. It's a smaller, it's not a full-size pillow, just a tiny one. But that would require getting out the sewing machine. All right, my friends, that is it for tonight. I will be back probably tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> yeah, Betty. I know. I wasn't so confident in my decision after I did it, but I like the way it is because, yeah, you're right. The other colors pop now. I think it looks good. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go and take some pictures and then upload it to YouTube. Um, if you didn't know, I am on YouTube. And my YouTube channel is called Lip Bit Chalks. So the same as my Facebook page. Um, so if you ever miss seeing the Facebook or you can't get on Facebook, if there's issues, you can always check it out over on YouTube. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm hoping that I get an answer from Manny Cam so that I can go back to my, my old way of um, seeing things. Okay. That's it for now. Bye.